Colette Devlin last updated 2102, September 17, 2017 Wellington City Council's housing priority initiatives for consideration includes redeveloping central area buildings for residential housing, redeveloping central city buildings for residential housing and a one-stop shop for consents are among a raft of measures to be pursued as a matter of urgency to tackle Wellington's dire housing needs. The Wellington City Council is also planning to set up a new political housing subcommittee to ensure all Wellingtonians are well housed. There is an estimated shortfall of about 3,900 homes in the city and an extra 37,000 homes will be required to meet the population growth of between 50,000 and 80,000 by 2043. Deputy Mayor Paul Eagle says the council is planning to set up a new subcommittee to fast-track decisions about housing. A mayor's housing task force was established in October 2016 as an immediate response to growing housing pressures in Wellington. Read more Council asks developers to convert inner-city buildings bold new plan to fix Wellington's housing issues could see intensification in suburbs Wellington to be first authority to establish a voluntary warrant of fitness for rental properties Wellington City Council to build 750 homes to avoid Auckland-style housing crisis Wellington's mayor takes a swipe at land bankers on the city's fringes in June the independent body of experts released its plan, suggesting solutions such as increasing building heights and allowing more site coverage, stepping up council development and a partnership agreement with the government. Wellington Mayor Justin Lester set up a task force last year as an immediate response to growing housing pressures in Wellington. A number of the recommendations such as a one-stop shop for consents have been earmarked for the council as a priority for implementing. Council officers have now analysed the recommendations and a range of priorities will be presented at the Council's City Strategy Committee on Thursday. The committee will be asked to agree on initiatives for the first three years of the long-term plan. These include redeveloping central area buildings for residential housing, a one-stop shop for consenting, establishing a wet house and developing government housing partnerships. While Wellington is not yet fully facing the challenges facing residents in Auckland or Queenstown, the city still faces significant challenges to address increasingly evident housing-related issues. Deputy Mayor Paul Eagle, who led the task force, said the council was also planning to set up a new subcommittee to fast-track decisions about housing. The committee would likely be made up of five councillors and two external experts from the task force. The move would signal to the city and council offices that councillors were putting housing at the top of their list, he said. The warning bells are ringing the city will plunge into a housing crisis if we don't prioritise housing. The council also wanted to work with the government to redevelop its existing housing New Zealand stock in areas such as Burhampur and Strathmore Park, he said. In essence we want to say to the government we want to develop your land better. It has a lot of stock that needs to be demolished. A number of other task force recommendations are already underway, including establishing Tifari Okioki Wet House, implementing the Strategic Housing Investment Programme to increase social and affordable housing, introducing a voluntary warrant of fitness and a review of the Wellington Urban Growth Plan 2015. A council document says the implementation of the full list of task force recommendations would have significant resource, financial and practical implications. Therefore prioritisation was necessary to ensure that the council could strategically address the most urgent and most easily deliverable activities first. Priority. Housing initiatives leadership develop clear, transparent targets to increase supply across the housing continuum. Develop proposals to redevelop central area buildings for residential housing. Implement a one-stop shop for consenting. Establish a design review panel.